Howdy y'all, Fast Forge 289. Tonight we're working on my 1976 Ford truck and I'm cleaning up the drip rail moldings. See how they're all dull, it's anodized. And this is what it's gonna look like when I'm all done with it. I've been working on this for probably 30, 45 minutes. And what I did is I sanded, I water sanded it with 500 grit sandpaper and you'll see it starts to look like that. And it's almost like a clear coat. When you sand paint with clear coat, you sand it until it's completely gone and it looks like this. And then it'll be a dull, it'll have a dull finish to it. About like this actually, after you sand it. Then sand it with 1000 or 1200 grit to polish it out, make it real nice and smooth. And, uh, and then I took a buffing wheel on my drill and buffed it out and got it nice and smooth and shiny and then took some never dull just took a little bit of never dull rubbed it really good you want medium to, to firm pressure and rub it in real good then take your rag and polish it out now you can get some uh, compound also if you want a little bit brighter and I might do that later and some polishing compound and do it by hand and buff it out that would work too in the 60s and 70s Ford put this finish this uh, some kind of a protective covering over their trim to keep it shiny but the problem is over the years it anodizes turns dull like this it's very hard you can't shine the anodizing you gotta take the anodizing off. So you gotta go back down to bare metal the way it would have been at the factory before they clear coated it or whatever it is that they put on there. And then polish that up. Now if you want to when you're done you can you know tape everything up so you don't get oversprayed and you can go buy you some clear coat and clear coat it kind of like what they did and protect it. And that's one way you can go. I might I might do that but I'm gonna see how this works first and see if it'll stay like this. If it starts to dull pretty quick or something from sitting outside, then I might go back in, polish it up one more time and hit it with some clear coat and then let it go. But uh, I mean, it looks a lot better. It's a little hard to see on video exactly, but I mean, that turned out really nice. I just got to finish it up. I still got quite a ways to go, but it's getting there. If you like the video, hit like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscri subscribing. And uh, thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.